Well, this is more of a continuation of uh, what we talked about last week, um, but the news just kept on going. Y'all knew about the Flash drama. In case you're new to it, Ezra Miller been wiling out. My man has choked out a, a, a woman. Uh, he has made death threats to people. He has um, uh, harassed folks. He has gone. Uh, he 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 like uh, 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 I guess verbally assaulted or whatever. Uh, some people that were singing karaoke songs or something that he just didn't like. So he bombarded them on stage. A couple that was uh, uh, hosting him in Hawaii. He barged into their bedroom and threatened to kill them. And they had to get a restraining order on him. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. This dude is a problem. He's a problem. So, finally, because we've been sitting here thinking like, this has been a problem since 2020. This ain't been something like, oh, he just had this one run in. It's not like, oh, he just had this one little issue. He's been having a pattern of problematic behavior. I don't know if it's mental health. I don't know if it's substance abuse. It doesn't matter. Actions have consequences. Consequences. And a lot of people, I know some people have I've seen online say stuff like, hey, we got to get him the help that he needs and stuff like that. Guess what? Get him help. Get him help. But that doesn't mean his, his behavior needs to be excused. And WB has been mighty quiet about all of this. Now, there was a report from Rolling Stone that said Ezra Miller's arrest prompted an emergency Warner Brothers meeting about the star's future. So what they were saying was basically that Warner Brothers was like, yo, enough is enough. It's time for a change. We got to meet up about this and get that going. However, right as this was reported, I don't have the follow up here, but this report was refuted by a source from WB who said that that was exaggerated, saying that there wasn't an emergency meeting about Ezra Miller and that, you know, basically they're calling, I don't want to say they're calling it fake news, but they're saying it's exaggerated. But my question is this. Why didn't you have an emergency meeting about Ezra Miller? Like, why wouldn't you have that meeting about this guy who is potentially tanking your future movie that you've invested hundreds of millions of dollars into? Like, you don't think that that's worth, you don't think that that's worth talking about? You don't think that his behavior is something that needs to be addressed? Because your silence is coming off as complicity and that's the problem y'all not even coming out to say hey we don't stand for this we don't like this this is not cool y'all didn't say nothing nothing and this man is out here wild and getting his mug shot put out there and then you gonna put him on the face of your next movie how's that promo gonna work how's that press tour gonna work because y'all know right now if they keep going they gonna have, remember I told y'all there was different levels of press. You got the A one team up here, then you got the B team, and then you got people like me, like on the C D level. I bet you if that's the case, they only gonna give it to the A ones and be like, okay, um, you can ask anything about the Flash, but you cannot ask about his record, and and please don't uh, mention his outburst. Uh, don't mention any substance abuse, and um, yeah, don't don't mention any of the bad stuff, but. Talk about the flash. Don't be surprised if that happens. But in my opinion, I've been sitting here saying, recast them. Y'all recasted WB. Y'all recasted Johnny Depp when he started getting his little Amber, you know, uh, uh, issues or whatever. He had his little marital issues and stuff. Y'all recasted him with Mads Mikkelsen. And by the way, Mads was better than Johnny Depp. I've seen the, the, the Dumbledore movie. Mads is better. He was a lot better than Johnny Depp. It was actually an improvement. Because recasting has never been a bad thing. Never. And I know some people be sitting here saying like, oh, get him help. Yo, you can get him help and recast him at the same time. 
Both things can happen. Y'all remember Lindsay Lohan when she was out here wilding out all the time too? Guess what? Recast. Get her out of here. Get her some help. Give us some thoughts and prayers. But I'm sorry, if you're a problem like this, you're an endangerment not only to yourself, not only to the studio, but also to your coworkers. What about all the coworkers that worked on this movie? Maybe they got little bonuses or something if the movie does well. Uh-oh, Ezra Miller's tanking that. Now they're not going to get the payday that they deserve. And on top of that, listen, who is Ezra Miller? Who is Ezra Miller that needs all this protection? Why are, they, why are people acting like he Tom Cruise? Like, Ezra Miller is replaceable. Oh! He is replaceable. I told y'all, go get evil Ezra Miller from, from Eternals, Barry, Rogan, whatever his name is. Go get that dude. Ain't nobody gonna notice the difference? They tripping. I, I do not understand what Ezra Miller has done or what he's accomplished to warrant him this level of privilege and protection. Because anybody... I, you mean to tell me an actor's been in, been arrested, been threatening people, assaulting folks, and being all up in the news in a negative light, and they still gonna keep their job, and their name is not Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, or whoever big name Oscar award winning actor? Who is Ezra Miller? But I want y'all to see what y'all done did. Look at what y'all done did. Y'all did this, not me. The Flash fans call for Grant Gustin to replace Ezra Miller in the DCEU. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Look at that. People is all online talking about where's Grant Gustin? What's going on? They, look at this. That was messed up. I can't. Oh, oh, oh. What? Look at that. Look at what you look at that. They done quoted your boy. They done quoted your boy. Where is Grant Gustin? WB got a whole multiverse at their disposal. Ezra is too much of a liability. Dare I say, recast. I love it. I love it here. I love it. <clears throat> Y'all can't use the multiverse? It's literally what the movie is all about. The movie is all about the multiverse. The movie is all about just like, you know, different variations. Recast him. Ain't nobody going to miss Ezra Miller. And that's not to, that that is not to be dismissive of his personal issues. When I talk about recasting, that is a business decision. And right now, Ezra Miller needs help. Ezra Miller needs to sit his butt down somewhere and get some help. Where are his people? Where is his management, his family? Where are people? Where are they? He don't need to be out there trying to promote a movie, but then again, he probably going to be in jail or something like, he going to be on the red carpet with an ankle bracelet? Like, what are we doing? Recast. Man. Y'all just, y'all just bringing the recast out of everybody, man. Just everybody get recast. Y'all going to make me feel like Oprah. Like, you get a recast. You get a recast. You get a recast. Woo we. All right, that's all I got for for Ezra Miller. Um, apparently WB did not feel like it was worth having an emergency meeting for whatever reason. Um, like I said, I don't I don't understand what the I don't understand. Um, and yeah, and fans are asking for Grant Gustin to come in. And here's the thing: Grant Gustin is not like a movie star. You know, people are just saying Grant Gustin because, like, you know. That's the only other Flash that's not that terrible. The show has had some issues. The, the CW show has issues. But, you know, Grant Gustin ain't really the problem. You know, the writing kind of sucks. But he's not the problem. But I think that it's also the fact that Ezra Miller is replaceable. Like, I don't even care if they don't get Grant Gustin. Get anybody else. Y'all have had this movie in production hell for years. And y'all gonna let this slide? 
Get it together, WB. Get it together. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole Ezra Miller situation. Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Nelson V, what you got? Can Warner Brothers swap Miller with another actor before Flashpoint comes out in 2023? Just delay the movie, hold him accountable, recast Flash and T'Challa. Um, it's going to cost them a lot of money. I'll be honest. Like The movie's already been in production hell, which means that the budget has continued to go up. I don't know if you're going to make that much of a return. You know, um, and at this point, I get the feeling that they just want to cut their losses. I get the feeling that WB is like, you know what? After this, we're done with Ezra. I I, I would think I would think that's what they would say, um, because I don't know how you keep going on with him um, doing all this stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know. But <sighs> they, I mean, you can't act like this stuff is OK. We've seen other actors get away with far less. I'm sorry, not get away with far less. I don't know. I would not. I know Ray Fisher is smiling somewhere like, mm, I told y'all about WB. I know he doing that. Uh, Didier, what you got? Ezra has pictures and texts. Uh, WB execs don't want to be seen. That's what it seemed like. It definitely seems like he got something on somebody because I don't understand how this do. You would think he had mafia connections or something because they not they like we not even gonna talk about him at all. Even the here's the thing here's here's what kind of is weird to me. There was news that an emergency meeting came out that that WB had an emergency meeting, and WB felt more compelled to debunk that rather than actually commenting on Ezra Miller's problematic behavior. Y'all are more quick to talk about, no, 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 we ain't had no emergency meeting. But y'all ain't got nothing to say with this dude choking people out, assaulting people, threatening people's lives, getting arrested, getting restraining orders. Y'all ain't got nothing to say about that. But you quick to talk about, we ain't had no emergency meeting. Reeks of privilege. Just saying. Derek Gaines, but they want to recast Superman. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That I pfft, you asking the wrong person because don't Henry Cavill's like one of the best Superman we ever had right now. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. But at this point, Grant Gustin's the only flash I acknowledge. So uh whatever. Ezra, thank you, Antoinette. Uh Ezra Miller as the Flash was on the WB series, The Flash. I believe it was Armageddon. Yeah, it was like a Crisis Earth episode. And that was that was cool. You know, it was it was a fun little thing. You know, I mean, listen, if they recast him right now, who's really missing this? Who's gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do? Ezra Miller's not around. Like, Ezra Miller ain't box office. Man, <sighs> thank you, Anthony. Yeah, you you right on that. You right on that. Trouble Clef, what you got? Thank you so much. Grant and Ezra literally met in the multiverse during the crisis event on the CW. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Um, but here's the thing. Like I said, they don't have to make it Grant Gustin, right? Like, it can literally be any other person. And if you just tell us that's Flash, we'll believe it. Y'all, we all here. I need people to understand that we are sophisticated enough to understand that when we go to a movie, we know that these are real people pretending to be fictional characters doing fantastical things. I'm not going to trip if I go into a Flash movie and I don't see Ezra Miller out there swimming and running all weird like through Speed Force or whatever you call this thing. I'm not tripping over that. Give me somebody else. I'll be fine. I will still go watch your movie. <sighs> Recasting has never been a bad thing. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.